I'm not hyped for this episode. This episode, to me, is much more than hype. Hype is something that you've been looking forward to and tension has been building up for a long time. Hype is expecting the unexpected. To me, hype are the episodes like Slice of Life, Equestria Games, Pinky Pride, Crusaders of the Lost Mark. This episode is not hype. This is something else. There's a reason I looked forward to the mid-season break. It gave us a break, and I got to wait longer for the new episodes. Season 5 has been going on for such a long time now, I almost forget what the off-season is like. And I came into the fandom during an off-season. So it's very strange to say that, I know. And maybe I'm over-exaggerating this, but... It's definitely been a fun ride. It's been a lot of fun. And I've certainly enjoyed reacting to the episodes. The majority of them, I really enjoyed giving almost all of them a 4 or a 5 star rating, uh, blue or a green, for that matter. Not in that order, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so I can't say I'm looking forward to this episode, but I hope it's satisfying. Do I have expectations? Not really. Not this time. This time, I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the episode and uh, see where we go from there. I'm not going to get too worked up on pointing everything out and uh, missing everything. And heck, maybe I saw a spoiler or two. Um... It was pretty obvious what this episode was going to be about. It's about Starlight Glimmer and her return. Uh, she made several appearances throughout the season. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with that. And, uh, you know, what what's the point of that exactly? Uh, certainly some build-up over the season. And uh, I'm sure we'll get that conclusion that we've been looking forward to uh, since the cutie map. Now, this episode is called The Cutie Remark, and surprisingly, it's not written by Megan McCarthy. This is actually handled by Josh Haber. Uh, surprise, surprise, did not expect this one. But yeah, I'll take it. Uh, Josh Haber wrote uh, a ton of, a couple of episodes. I, I shouldn't say a ton of, but he, he wrote a couple of solid episodes in season four. Um... My personal favorite out of his, I believe, is Castlemania. Unless he wrote a season 5 episode, but I don't think he did until now. Uh, just double checking the wiki page. So yeah. Let's see it. More of Starlight Glimmer. And... Uh, I imagine some butt glowing is going to happen, and we'll probably see more of the cutie map, but other than that, I don't know. So let's do this. Three, two, one, play. If some pony had told me when I was a blank blank that one day I'd give a speech to a class at Celestia School of Magic, I really? wouldn't have believed it, but... Wow. 
<laughs> She's not great at speeches, but man, you are, and that the future of equestrian magic is in good hooves. Good luck, Alcorns. I mean, wow. oh, practice, that was even better than practice. The first eleven times. Ah, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, man. Uh, I don't know, Spike. I'd like speeches to aren't really your thing. You can't be nervous about giving a speech to a bunch of magic students. Oh, I'm not nervous, Spike, but I do have to set a good example. No, there's a lot of symbolism in this one. That's why this speech has to be... <sighs> Perfect. Exactly. Let's go through it one more time. <clears throat> when Princess Celestia asked me to speak to you today, I was honored to have the opportunity to talk about my favorite subject, magic. All right. Uh, no, uh, no theme song in this one. Okay, well then. Next slide, please. That's fine by me, I guess. Uh, I I like the theme song because it gives me time to talk about the episode and not worry about missing stuff. But I I just gotta relax this time. And in the instance of my friends and I, it can be traced to a single event. Without Rainbow Dash's race to defend Fluttershy's honor, this rain boom wouldn't have happened. Fluttershy might never have discovered her love of Going animals. over the six of them. Might never have realized that That's she so cool. Her farm. And Pinkie Pie might never have decided wow. to leave hers. It might be hard to imagine Rarity without her sense of fabulousness. But it's even harder to fathom what my life would be like. Without this rain boom, I might not have gotten into that. Shout outs to that episode. Celestia wouldn't have taken me on as her pupil. <sighs> one of my personal friends. favorites. And the most Especially from season one. That I found is the connection I share with them. But, um. What's, what's wrong? The real question about cutie mark magic is who it seems to affect. Starlight glimmer. I was sure I saw her spike. <laughs> when I looked again, she was gone. You know what? I wouldn't. I I didn't see her. So. Um, I heard she wasn't very happy. I'm not very good at noticing her. Forcing every person in the village to have the same cutie mark wasn't right. We had to do something. And now she's coming back for revenge. Uh, or she was oh just boy. really interested in your speech. Honestly, Spike, I'm not really sure what I saw. But as long as I have my friends, I know everything will be all right. <sighs> She's been collecting information. <laughs> Maybe I was just more stressed about that speech than I thought. Oh. Yeah, that sounds better than Starlight Glimmer. Not gonna lie, this episode's getting me a little tense. Well, when you say it like that, it does sound kind of silly. Or it's totally true. Oh home, boy. Uh huh. Getting straight to the point this time. Wow. What are you doing, Starlight? <laughs> I tell you, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. Whoo! What's going on now? She's using the map for some reason. What's our plan? This is so <laughs> cool. She. All I can think of is like she'd be going back in time or something. But I don't know if that's it. Whoa. Oh, wait. Where'd she go? She's gonna try and stop the rain room from happening, isn't she? I guess we could start with this. I mean, why else would they mention it in the beginning? And now they get sucked in. This is cool. This is cool. Aw, oh, dude. Wow. 
I okay, I did not expect this. This is interesting. Whoa. Uh-oh. Starlick doesn't even have wings. Back in time. Why would she come here? I don't know, Spike, but it looked like she could fly with just magic. Keep your eyes open. We don't know what she has planned. Philly Rainbow Dash. That Rainbow Dash? Did Rainbow Dash look really young to you? And I didn't see a cutie mark. You don't think we oh my god dash race the bullies who made fun of fluttershy and performed her first song she might movie. stop the elements of harmony from happening well, the bearded could do something like that and even his spell just went back a week how could starlight do more than the greatest wizard in equestria i feel like i'm going insane this is wow with this Stars what now Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't do it, Twilight. You know, it's just... Can they see her? That's an interesting question. I don't know. I don't know if they can see her. Or Starlight. Oh, man. Uh, she never got a cutie. None of them got their. And now Spike was never hatched. Is Spike gonna cease to exist? Is he gonna be stuck in that egg? Oh my. Holy crap. Um Wow. I don't know what Starlight's up to yet. Now they're back in the present, huh? Before it's too late. Um Twilight, I think it already is. <gasps> no Ponyville at all? Or no, that's just not the castle. Uh, uh, where's your castle? It's the gone. Pulled us back. But whatever Starlight did in the past. But how's the map there? Here. But why? And how do we get here? And where's here? More like when. What do you mean? Starlight altered Star Swirl spell, then somehow used it on the map to travel into the past and change something. Once she did, the map pulled us back to the present. So we're back where I mean when we started? Not exactly. Everything's different. Look, the map doesn't even make sense anymore. The Crystal Empire takes up half of Equestria. Plus, there's a whole missing castle thing. Right. This is too big to handle on our own. You think? We need to find our friends and get help. Um, not sure. Not sure that's a good idea. Oh, God. I'm getting a bad feeling about this toy. You know, I, I think Starlight's in charge. How bad can things be? Uh-huh. Is that Sugar Cute Corner? I don't understand. Of course Spike would go after Rarity as soon as he started realizing things. Oh boy. I'm not sure anything we know is the same. But I know one place that could never change. Yeah. Well. 
What? What's with all that smog? Dude, it's a factory in there. Oh my goodness. You know, you probably shouldn't be so direct. What can I do for you? It's so good to see you. We couldn't find Pinky or Rarity or Fluttershy or Rainbow Dash, but I just who? knew you'd still be here. Of course I am. This is my home. But who in tarnation is Pinky Bow and Flutter Dash? Or you, for that matter. You don't know who I am? Oh boy. Honestly, the only name I recognize is Rarity, but she left for Manhattan years ago. Probably to become a world famous fashion designer at that. Not that I know of. Last uh -oh. I heard, she went to help with the cause like every pony else. The cause? The war against King Sombra and the Crystal Empire. What? Of course. You two been? They couldn't stop him. Actually, it's wet. I know this is hard to believe, but you and I and those other ponies I mentioned are friends. Did you bump your head on a crate of cider or something? I'm telling you the truth. And if you come with me, I'll prove it. Yeah, she she wouldn't want to go. <laughs> oh boy. These here parts my whole life, and I've never seen this before. There's also supposed to be a castle that goes with it, but I still don't see what this has to do with you and I being friends. Another pony named Starlight Glimmer used this map to travel through time and change things in the past. For some reason, the map's here, but everything else is different. Different how? Well, for one thing, where we came from, there's no war with King Sombra. Maybe you could tell us how the war started. Then we can figure out when everything changed. That's easy enough. When the Crystal Empire returned, it brought King Sombra back with it. Right. And no Twilight is Spike to stop it. Every one of his subjects to fight for him against the Crystal. Wow. Uh They just made King Sombra a whole lot more intimidating. You know, I I got to give him props. I didn't expect him to return. But yeah. Wow. Huh. War, huh? Uh I see no weapons, but that's still pretty intimidating. Oh, Rainbow Dash. Whoa. Holy crap. Part of her ear? Maud and Pink. Pinky's just like Maud, huh? Oh my god. They're getting all sci-fi up in here. Wow. Every last pony in Equestria doing their part, working day and night to keep up the fight. Holy crap. This is so cool. I never imagined anything like this could happen in the show. We stopped King Sombra. You and me and all of our friends. But we aren't friends. At least not here. Right. Oh my god. Look, I hope all this helped, but I really need to get back to canning those apples. You know what? I'm going to stick with the hair up if I can a little bit. I hope you do. So, <sighs> how are we going to set things right? There we go. I don't know. All right. The only thing we know for sure is that Starlight stopped the rain boom, and the map's still here. <gasps> Spike, that's it. All this happening the to the from the rain boom stopping. Messing with I destiny, huh? Of the spell and go back a little earlier and stop her before she even knows we're there. Oh boy. Now things are going to get weird. She knew that would happen. 
gonna be harder than you think. Sorry to disappoint you, but I created that spell to send myself back in time. So even when you cast it, I still get sent back here. It wasn't difficult to change Star Swirl's spell. He'd already done the hard part. But figuring out I could use the map to go to any time or place and pull you along with me? <laughs> I even impressed myself with that. I knew you'd try to stop me. You're so predictable. Why else would I leave the scroll behind? Touching it triggered the map to whisk you here and watch me erase the one thing that linked you with your friends. My village was a sanctuary of equality where no pony's cutie mark allowed them to feel superior. It was a special place, and you and your friends took it away. Wow. Nice sense of humor. Clever. Man. Is she, like, doing this all for revenge? I don't understand. I really don't. Like, this is pretty far for revenge. I mean, the whole King Somber War thing, like, what? Okay, keep your eyes peeled. Right. We have to stop Starlight wow. as soon as Rainbow Dash and those bullies race by. Um, Twilight? So be ready. I know, but... Because she can pop up anywhere. Like, over there? <gasps> Just remember how you'd feel if someone said those things to you. What's going on here? Oh, I was just reminding these two colts how hurtful teasing can be. Well, don't. Oh. Uh -huh. ah! You were? Of course. In a world where every pony is unique, some Awkward. feel more special than others. But that isn't a license to be cruel, is it? No, of course not. Oh, isn't it a shame we don't live in a world where every pony is equal? No one would ever tease anyone there. Wouldn't that be nice? She totally is going to take no, over the world. It wouldn't. I mean, a total Orwellian society. Of course, I'm not saying communist this time. Thing. Come on, Fluttershy. Maybe I can help you get through the course this time. <sighs> uh, I sure could use the practice. This is so weird. You only convince those bullies to not tease Fluttershy to stop the rain boom. Oh, that's not true. I convinced them not to be bullies because every pony should be equal. Stopping the rain boom is just a bonus. Look! She's not gonna have a rain boom. If you say so. Because she needs to save Fluttershy. Freaky. Sure. I hear you're pretty fast. Pretty fast? Please. I'm even faster than that. Okay. What about the whole thing that she's a princess? Like, no noticing that? Um, that wouldn't really be fair. I mean, you're a full grown pony. And wait, are you an alicorn? Come on, I thought you were fast. Okay. There we go. There we go. Too intimidating. Okay, listen, you don't have to race me. I just need you to fly fast enough for a sonic rain boom. What? I can't do that. No pony can. It's not even a real thing. It's just an old mare's tail. But it's not. I know it's not. I've seen you do it in the future. Oh, now she's getting weird. Okay. Now she's I'm getting weird. No, wait! <sighs> Gotta work on those social skills, Twilight. Mm -hmm. That's too bad. <gasps> wow. Uh, 
I, I know I'm saying wow a lot, but this is ridiculous. Well, that didn't work. This is gonna be harder than I thought. No, it's a different alternate universe. Hey, Twilight. I don't want to live in that awful future we saw. I don't think you'll have to. Oh. Yeesh! <laughs> That's intimidating. Bringing back Queen Chrysalis. So what? Now they're at war with Chrysalis? Starlight Glimmer. I was sure I saw her, Spike. Welcome home, Twilight. <laughs> we traveled back in time when Rainbow Dash performed. Are you kidding me? Rainbow? Is this even real? Wow, um... I don't think you'll have to. All servants of Queen Chrysalis found in these woods must be destroyed. Wait, we're not changelings. I'm oh. and he's a dragon. A likely story. Do something dragonish. <laughs> he's a dragon. The servants of Chrysalis would do anything to save their evil skins. Zakora. We'll soon see. Though I think they're not what they appear to be. Zakora, please, you have to listen. Beneath this sob, no changeling hides, for it reveals the truth inside. Okay. The meaning is far worse, I see. For it is we who should not be. I think I can explain. No way. I'm sure you can. They found out themselves? Talk here. Chrysalis and her army will soon draw near. The change that took over not long ago. Though I'll wager in your world that isn't so. Chrysalis and her army tried to take over Canterlot, but my friends and I stopped her. Those friends as you know them are not here, alas. But tell me, how all this came to pass? Starlight Glimmer, a pony who traveled back in time to stop my friends and me from ever coming together. And it is these friends you have in life that keep Equestria free from strife? I guess so, but this is the second time I've come back and this world is even worse than the last one. If Starlight keeps doing the same thing in the past, how could the present be so different? Ah, time is a river where even the tiniest changes seen can lead to a cascade of effects downstream. Um... This part of the forest is okay. down, but it's done well to hide our camp. This is this is crazy. This is cozy. <gasps> Please, you have to help us. Rarity and Rainbow Dash. They do have their cutie marks, but they don't have that the only bond. I see is the one that come here looking for me. It's taken quite a while to find Zakora. <laughs> So is it just AJ or is it all three of them? Chrysalis. All right. I guess it is all three of them. Stage your little resistance. It looks absolutely delicious. Oh come now, Zakora. You're vastly outnumbered. Wow. They're in trouble. I know you don't want your charges hurt. Come quietly to the dungeons of Canterlot, and I promise to leave the others alone. Why would she ever trust you? Even if there's a chance Chrysalis will honor her word, shouldn't you try? Race to the map while we hold off the attack. Stop Starlight and put the whole world back on track. Time to 
make a decision, Sikora. Even if what you are saying were true, we'd never surrender to a creature like you! Oh boy. Man. I'm just in awe by this type of throwback. Like, wow. Um. Get out of there, Twilight. Get out of there. Get out of here. Nice shielding, by the way. That was Not bad, pretty good. But it's gonna take a lot more than that. Lucky for you, there's more where that came from. Ooh. So an actual battle between them. Nice. You really gotta work on your aim. <laughs> what are you doing? You have to finish your race. No way. This is way more exciting. See? Oh you man. Can't stop me no matter what you do. Oh boy. That's strange. So, well, Discord or T-Rex this time? Because that's becoming pretty routine. No, it's just the other times we've come back. It's been day. But look. This time it's night. Why would the map bring us back to a Nightmare Moon, maybe? Um, maybe we should figure it out later. Timberwolves. Man, I love how those Timberwolves look in the show. It's pretty incredible. Like, just the th seeing 3D animation in this. Beautiful. And it's still up. You think it's Nightmare Moon this time? I mean, you probably already saw the episode, but I didn't. So I don't know. Uh, it looks like it. Nightmare Moon, wow. This place looks a lot cleaner than I remember. Order is a little different than I Ready? thought it would be. Thought I'd see Discord ruling it first. I don't socialize with dragons. I don't know anybody wow. who would. Rarity, Ooh. you have to listen to me. The future Ooh. of Equestria is at stake. That, that's harsh, Rarity. How you know my name, but I am far too busy to entertain some tourists' ridiculous fantasies. I have to get back to the map so I can stop Starlight from changing the past, because every present I come to is worse than the last. Time travel. Well. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Now that's something I would like to see. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you came by this magic to travel through time. The princess asked you a question. And unless you want to end up in the dungeon, you'll tell her what she wants to know. Oh. No. Oof. But me should possess a magic powerful enough to change time. Your kingdom? Who else? <laughs> Just pretend this is an imaginary paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> My sister has been imprisoned in the moon for years. But no way. But it's faith than she sentenced me to. Now, reveal to me the source of this time magic. No way. Twilight, no! We have no choice, Spike. I can take you to it, but you'll have to get past the Timberwolves. I am the ruler of all of Equestria. Do you think I can't deal with Timberwolves? No. I know you can. And if you are thinking of trying to escape... Ooh! It hostage. Very unfortunate for your friend. How 
does it work? A pony from my time used a spell to travel back and change the past. And now you will give this spell to me. With it, I will ensure that the elements of harmony are never found and my reign lasts forever. But it won't. What? In my world, my friends and I found the elements and used them to defeat you. And I will do everything in my power to bring that world back. No! Ooh. GG, Nightmare Moon. Now more than ever, I know how important it is to stop you. Well, good luck. Ooh, direct assault this time. T Rex, huh? Yep, 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 yep. Ooh. Discord, right? Yep. Oh boy. Now what? I mean, that's everyone. E every one of the bosses, kind of. Bad doers. Uh, fl Flim and Flim, okay. 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 <laughs> What's next, Trixie? Out of all these, I thought Starlight would be the owner, but from trying, and we could be stuck doing this for huh. all eternity. If that's what it takes to keep you and your friends from getting your cutie mark connection, then I'm game. What you're doing goes way beyond cutie marks. Everything we do here in the past, even the smallest change, can snowball into an avalanche of trouble for the future. She doesn't care. Next, I suppose you'll tell me that the fate of all of Equestria hangs in the balance. It does. Spare me your overblown ego. No group of friends, not even Princess Twilight's, is that important. Oh boy. I don't know how important other ponies' friendships are to the future, but I can show you what the world is like without mine. Yeah, there we go. Take her. You mean she didn't know? I thought she would have known, and she didn't care. Where are we? The future, or rather, the present. But there's nothing here. I wish I could say I was surprised, but every world I come back to is worse than the last. I don't know why my friends and I are so important to Equestria, but we are. I don't believe you! Come on, Starlight, look around! Like I said, Everything in the past affects the future, even the tidiest act, and what you're doing leads here. I know I can't stop you, but I thought showing you this might change your mind. Change my mind? You don't know anything about me. I was perfectly happy before you and your friends ruined what I built! I don't know what happened that led you to make your village without cutie marks, and I'm sorry my friends and I had to take it away. You want to know what happened to me? I'll show you! Where are we? That map of yours is connected to every part of Equestria, and this part is my home. This place looks pretty rad. Yo. Sunburst and I did everything together. In fact, I don't remember us ever being apart. Until today. Sunburst. He, he saved her. And he got his cutie mark. That's, that's cool. That's... And she's happy for him? And just like that, my friend was gone. Uh, his family recognized what? his magical talent and sent him off to Canterlot. I never saw him again. Well, why not? Because of his cutie mark. He got his and I didn't. He moved on and I 
didn't! I stayed here and never made another friend because I was too afraid another cutie mark would take them away too! That's ridiculous. A cutie mark can't take your friends away. Not every pony's lucky enough to get her cutie mark at the same time as her friend! You don't know what it's like to lose a friend because of a cutie mark. But once I stop the rain boom, you will! And when I destroy this scroll, there'll be no way for you to change it! Stop oh boy. showed me who knows what'll really happen i've seen it a dozen times things don't turn out well in equestria without my friends Ugh, what's so special about your friends how can a group of ponies that are so different be so important the differences between me and my friends are the very things that make our friendship strong i thought sunburst and i were the same but we turned out different and it tore our friendship apart so try again. Make new friends. And if something that you can't control happens that changes things, work through it together. That's what friendship is. And it's not just my friendships that are important to Equestria. Every pony's are. When yours ended, it led us here. But just imagine all the others that are out there waiting for you if you just give them a chance. How do I know they won't all end the same way? I guess it's up to you to make sure they don't. Jeez. Um. I don't know. This seems like such a too good to be true scenario. One castle of friendship? Check. What an Equestria was that? Is every pony okay? Gee, can you do it again? One group of amazing friends? Check! Yes. And Starlight friend. becomes a friend! <laughs> What's she doing here? <laughs> Just like Sunset Shimmer. Kind of a long story. Welp. 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 <laughs> I knew my rain boom was awesome, but I never thought all of Equestria depended on it. Or on us! I think it's more than that. Friendship connects all of Equestria, and undoing one group of friends made its magic less powerful. I can't believe y'all were able to travel through time like that. That starlight must be pretty magical. She obviously has more talent for magic than almost any pony I've seen. My magic couldn't stop her. I had to convince her to stop on her own. Once I realized that, everything fell into place. But if she's as powerful as all that, we can't just send her on her way, can we? Actually, I kind of have something else in mind. Oh boy. Her old friend, huh? I oh. know there's no excuse for what I did, but I want you all to know that I'm ready for whatever punishment you think is fair. I've been thinking a lot about how badly Equestria fared without just one group of friends. Because even when one friendship dies, the results can be disastrous. <sighs> I know, first hoof, how true that can be. And that's why I've asked you here. If you're willing to learn, I'm willing to teach you what I know. You'll have the power to make Equestria an even better place. How do I start? Starting is easy. All you have to do is make a friend. And you've got seven of them right here. A song, okay. Step right in and start again. Okay, okay. I never thought that I could just begin. Right where I left off and make a friend. Don't ever think that it might be too late. You don't have to wait. There's no mistakes with the friends you make.
The march! From before. Oh yeah! Them again! Well, I suppose that's it then. So, um, I've been doing a lot of thinking in the past couple of minutes about like how I feel about this episode. Uh, I'm still not entirely sure. Uh, there's a lot of cool things, obviously, that happened, but there's a lot of things in this episode that I just don't know. Particularly if I had one complaint, it would be that she didn't get to visit her friend again, her old childhood friend. He, he seems like... a significant factor, and it feels like... The circle started with their friendship. You know, I, I was mapping it out in my head that the circle started with their friendship and it was going to link back to that, but it didn't. That really bugs me. And it just it feels incomplete. Not all the way there. So, it was close. Certainly. Um, I, I definitely liked her reuniting with the other ponies uh, back from the cutie map. That was cool. But... Uh, there's something missing. I can't give it a 5 out of 5, but it certainly did get a 4 out of 5 for me. Crusaders of the Lost Mark, Slice of Life, Amending Fences, The Main Attraction, Do Princesses Stream of Magic Sheep, Bloom and Gloom, Canterlot Boutique, The Lost Treasure of the Griffinstone, Made in Manhattan, The Cutie Remark, What About Discord, Tanks for the Memories, The Hooffields and McColts, The Cutie Map, Make New Friends But Keep Discord, Scare Master, Rarity Investigates, Party Pooped, The One with Pinky Nose, Hearthbreakers, Apple is his most wanted, Princess Spike, Brotherhood Social, and Castle Sweet Castle. Again, four out of five, really solid episode. Had a lot of cool things in it. The time travel was really cool. Um, I definitely liked seeing the appearances by uh, the villains again. Even though uh, Tyrek and Discord were pretty short, you know, it, it was kind of nice that it didn't overplay it. It was, it didn't really overstep its boundaries. It was pretty good at that but other than that um uh de definitely the whole them uniting together their their friendship it's not their cutie marks it's their friendship that really you know signified and uh helped create the the bond over equestria and yeah, the, the, that throwback to me was probably the most important part. Even more important, important than everything else. So, yeah, huge, huge props for Josh Haver for that.
uh, a really solid episode. Call it nitpicks if you want, but I if felt like there was something missing in it. Um, other than that, uh, my only other critique would be, uh, the Starlight Glimmer kind of, I don't know, it felt like she turned over too quickly, too easily, when she was still resisting. I felt like, I felt like something else should have triggered the, her response, and, uh, it should have been something a little bit stronger. Like, uh, like a flashback or something, or something like that, really. Uh, huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, this is really making me think right now, but, uh, pretty cool episode, definitely an awesome finale. Uh, I don't take any way, anything away from that, but... Yeah, uh, there's a reason why I like the Slice of Life episodes more. Uh, there's less at stake, and uh, they're more fun and silly, and uh, they they take care of the little things. And I felt like this kind of missed some of the little things, but hey. Uh, I still really enjoyed it. Four out of five, that's not bad. And uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this as well. Uh, it's been a wild ride with season 5 and uh, I'm gonna miss it it's gonna be a long road till season 6 and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens then and uh, I hope you guys uh, stick around with the channel uh, there's plenty it's gonna go on with the off season I can assure you and uh, I hope you're interested in checking all that out so until then I thank you for watching. So, that being said, take care and peace out.